Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and today I'm here to talk about how to store completed diamond paintings. This is quite possibly one of the most frequently asked questions on my channel and has been for some time and the main reason I haven't really put together a video on this yet is because I feel like I have been on the hunt for sort of my Goldilocks solution uh, that sort of ticks all the boxes for what I'm looking for for storing my completed diamond paintings. I think I may have found it though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk through that with you today, as well as share some other um, storage options that I've used over the years, and I'll share some pros and cons and what my experience has been like with each of these options, so that maybe you can figure out what's gonna work well for you. Now, I uh, I think a lot of this is gonna depend on various factors, like what your space looks like, where you where you have space to store things what sizes of diamond paintings you like to work on and complete, and what your goals are as far as what you wanna be able to do with your completed diamond paintings. Uh, now, I'm the sort of person that I, I don't work on diamond paintings specifically to display in my home, which is probably a good thing because I've completed almost 150 diamond paintings at this point after almost four years in the hobby, and I would be well out of wall space at this point. However, I still want to hold on to and enjoy my completed diamond paintings. There are things you can do. Like I said, you, you can absolutely hang things on, hang these on your wall. You can give them as gifts to, you know, friends and loved ones. Uh, but, you know, if you're a sort of a process crafter, which means you just sort of enjoy the process of working on uh, the craft and the goal isn't necessarily like I want to finish and hang this in my home. If you're, you know, if that's the if that's what uh, sort of crafter you are, then maybe I'll be able to be helpful. <laughs> I work on diamond paintings because of the, the mental health benefits and the uh, just enjoyment and relaxation that comes with it and seeing the completed products are um, really, really special. So Anyway, like I said, I have a few different storage solutions I'm looking forward to sharing with you today and to let you know up front what my goals have been and what I've been kind of in search of on this journey to figuring out what is my Goldilocks solution. The things that I am looking for are organization of, of some kind and ability to access my completed diamond paintings without it being a huge headache. I, I needed I needed a solution that basically fits a wide variety of diamond painting sizes, whether that is you know a panel style piece that is taller than I am or a really wide piece that is you know a hundred centimeters in width or something like that. That's been tricky. <laughs> or on the other end of the spectrum, little like snack size kits as well. Um, I wanted to have a storage solution that's going to maintain the integrity of the paintings. I really don't want something that I feel like is going to make it likely that the diamonds are going to fall off or the canvases are going to get wrinkled or crumpled. Um, and I wanted something that would be just realistic to move and store. I live in a small space. I don't have a craft room. Um, my options for storing things are often under beds or in my garage. <laughs> so um, those are the kind of the things that I was looking at. And like I said, I feel like I've tried various things over the years and not had a lot of success but just recently finally tried out a new solution that I'm really happy about it's over here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, we're going to talk about this one first and I'm going to share what I love about it and the details and uh, then we'll get into you know I have a couple other things here that I've used over the years as well that I'll I'll talk about as well so give me just a moment all right so I'm gonna go ahead and start like I said with what I feel like is my current favorite storage solution and that is an underbed storage tote uh, with some some organization happening inside. So this actually this is just a tote I got from Target, and um, it's a it's a Sterilite brand, and has wheels on it, and is you know around six to seven inches tall, which is around like 15 ish centimeters, and just slides right under the bed really easily. Now um, I like the idea a lot of underbed storage, and I've, I've utilized it in the past with some of my other storage attempts with portfolios. But I like the structure that comes with a tote um, and I like the opportunities for it. And I'd been mulling this over for quite a while and thinking, how can I, how can I, how can I make this workable? Really my motivation was when I went to do my year in review video of this year and I needed to pull out 43, 43 completed diamond paintings. I just was like, it's just such a headache. I have to find where they are. I have to try to like get them in order and make sure I have everything. And I think I've got it, you guys. So what I did is um, I 
basically grouped the paintings into groups of five or six depending on the size and I've rolled them up and before you ask yes they are drills facing in but I'm going to show you why <laughs> um, in just a minute so I know I have a feeling it's just going to be the top comma is why didn't you roll it drills facing out you can't I didn't I'll show you why but not important right now basically I rolled up the canvases and I used I ran out of binder clips I need to buy some more but I clipped it on the on either end ideally with binder clips and in this plastic bag um, and then I put a label on here that tells me not only what date range these were from but also exactly what kits are in here now, this particular tote fits basically two layers deep of these rolls of diamond paintings which is just perfect it's like i can just pull it out i can take a look and go oh look april 2023 and by the way here's the kits the exact kits that are in here um and i am in love with this solution so far um right now this container has i believe about 38 completed kits in it and i think i could actually shift these over and fit another roll right here and just kind of smush the lid on top so that would that would be an option. It would be an option, maybe not ideal, but it would be an option. Um, so let me grab one of these to unroll and show you how I approached this. Um, and also I'll talk about some of like the pros and cons as well. Let's, let's take out this one and shift this out of the way while we're at it. And okay, so I didn't knot the end of the bag. Now, full disclosure, you guys, I actually, <laughs> Um, I bought this size of bag thinking that I needed something really large and I didn't <laughs> as I ended up storing it because I did try out uh, rolling up like 10 canvases at once and it really was too much. Um, so unclamp this and here's here's what it's going to do. Um, so, but anyway, I have those bags. I'm not gonna waste my money. Uh, I will I'll link to them and any of the other supplies I use below if you're curious, but just keep in mind that those bags are pretty big and I might even snip the extra off the end. And then the giant labels are just, you know, sticker labels you can get from any store. So basically I laid all the canvases out on top of each other and, and rolled them up together. And here's a couple of tips that I have for you if you're gonna take this approach. Um, and if you want to roll them diamonds facing in like I did, here was my logic. My logic was that I was afraid that with di rolling it diamonds facing out that that still whatever canvas was on the outside layer that it would rub and that the drills would come off. I just felt like this would afford it some more protection. So here's a couple of things that I think might be helpful. Um, first, I put the canvases with round diamonds on the inside layer and the canvases with the square drills on the outside layer. And then probably most helpfully is I actually made sure if you take a look, the the one that's on the outside, the outermost layer is the biggest canvas because that's gonna help when I go to clip it close so that it stays, or clip the roll so that it stays actually rolled up. And then by, by doing the round drill canvases on the inside, you can see this one wants to keep rolling up. Um, that gives the square drills space that it does roll just fine. Um, and I haven't noticed any popping with the square diamonds, um, but you know, I, again, you could roll this drills facing out and that would be fine. I would recommend again, if you are rolling drills facing out, um, maybe do the largest canvas on the outside again so that you don't have a bunch of canvases exposed like on the outside, if that makes sense. It's like you have one that's just sort of encompassing all of it. So like I said, I had about five or six canvases here and um, yeah, rounds on the inside, squares on the outside. And then I just rolled it up. By the way, if you have fur, like I've managed to get on, on the backs of these canvases, do you know that a lint brush will just take it right off? I should, I should grab one and do some cleanup, but that's what I did. But you can see this is rolling up just fine. And then I've got this and then I just grabbed my clip and then I just clip it on the end here. And ideally I would have a second clip. I am gonna buy some more and clip it on the other end, but this really does, does the trick. And then I just slid it into the bag. And I just, I love it. I feel like it's all protected and it's organized and it's just, it's just ready to go. And then I just popped it here in the tote. And then I just rotated it to make sure that I would be able to see, you know, the dates and everything easily when I when I open up the tote. 
Uh, as far as the size of the tote and kind of what canvases it will fit, um, it it fits a canvas that is up to at least 80 centimeters on the short side. You can roll the long side in uh, on the inside instead. And so I haven't yet really had any canvases that are larger than 80 centimeters on the shortest side. And so, you know, that hasn't necessarily been an issue yet, but there is still room down here. You could absolutely have an even longer canvas. The actual size of the tote on the inside is about, let's see, um, I have like 85 centimeters is what I measured or 34 inches is like the in inside measurements. So that's probably the like, you know, largest you could get as far as the, the shortest side of the canvas goes. And then as far as like this way, it's, um, 42 centimeters or about 18 inches. So let me tell you what I really like about this storage method and, and maybe some cons. So let's do some pros and cons really quickly as well as talk about cost. So I live in the US and the price point for this was, uh, the tote was about $20 at Target. I did not get it on sale, which you should get things on sale. I bet you could get it on sale for $15. Um, and it would even be cheaper if you got one without wheels. Um, the bags, I had to buy a set of large bags and those were $15, but I feel like you could get a better deal. I think you also, if you wanted to, could use this sort of method without the bags, but I like the added protection and I like the ability to easily put a label on it as well. Um, and then the extra tools like the labels and the clamps, those are just a couple of dollars. You can get those from the dollar store. Uh, and then you can store about 30 to 40 kits in here, it seems like. I might play around with sort of rolling different amounts of canvases, but really compared to the amount of space that a, you know, one of my other storage solutions would take up to store 30 or 40 kits, I feel like this is pretty, pretty space efficient and effective. So that I would say is one of the pros. Something that for me makes a big difference, which you're gonna hear about why this is a problem with some of my other solutions. But one, one good thing about this was that it was actually pretty easy to lift. It's a tote, it's got those handles and the way it's distributed, it just, it's practical to lift and to move and to store. You know, it's it's stackable if you want to store it in your garage, or it rolls and fits under your bed if you want to store it under your bed, like you're like I'm planning to. I feel like this is a good option for someone that does complete a lot of diamond painting kits, and you really need something that is going to be able to store a large volume of kits. Um, you know, if the, with this storing around 40 completed kits, potentially you know 45 if I did squeeze in a fourth roll over here. You know, this this would be very, very helpful for me, I found. Um, and I feel like also um, this was this does help protect and preserve the integrity of the kits. I um, you know, I, I think that this is gonna make sure, you know, the drills aren't rubbing um against other canvases. You know, there's minimal <laughs> motion happening. Um, with this number of canvases rolled together, I feel like I don't have to worry about it smashing the rolls of canvases underneath it. I tried before rolling single or even two canvases at a time, and if I tried to lay them in a tote like this, this top layer would really smash the bottom layer down. So, um, but I feel like this five to six kits rolled up really helps sort of give it enough volume and shape that even when I put the lid on and kind of squish this down, um, I'm not smashing these flat. These are still, they have like enough volume to them to, keep their keep their shape and structure if, if that makes sense i like that this does give this does have a hard structure to it and so that's further protecting my canvases and of course i love how easily i can tell at a glance what kits are where you could add as much or as little detail to these labels as you want i just i feel like this might be my goldilocks solution here um let's talk though about the cons and one of the reasons why i think i hesitated to consider this as an option is because i honestly i loved the idea of being able to more easily view my kits and maybe flip through them basically um so that is something that you can't do with this method it's not like you can just open up a portfolio and flip through it. Um, I am curious to see if longer term, if I'm gonna run into any problems with the drills, um, with them being rolled up, if that's gonna cause any problems, I'm hopeful that it won't. 
The other downside to this method would be if you seal your diamond paintings. I don't work on a lot of paintings that require me to seal them. Um, and when I have sealed paintings, sometimes I have sealed them with such a light sealer that they do still, you know, especially if they were like on the outside of the roll, they might roll. Um, but you know, that obviously, that is one other downside is if you do seal all your diamond paintings and that, that means they're gonna basically be required to be stored flat this method is obviously not going to work but i feel like it's a relatively cost effective method um you know you could do this for 30 dollars or yet or less us dollars and um i just i'm in love with the organization and the efficiency of the possibilities of this one so this this is what i'm going to be trying for the foreseeable future but i do want to go ahead and take some time to also show you the other methods that i've tried in the past and why they might or might not be a good fit for you. I mean, it's it's all about just what works for you. So I'm gonna move this out of the way and grab the next one to show you. This next storage solution is basically a structured portfolio or binder with plastic sleeves in it. I have a couple of different sizes to share with you today and I will tell you why I, I like one and I am unfortunately uh, not probably going to be using the other longer term. So let me, I'm going to show you the larger one first. And I don't know if the camera really can accurately convey the size of this particular portfolio. It is extremely large. This is the Baroque portfolio, which I did unbox on my channel um, a while, a while back. And this was one of those things that when I was kind of in search of my perfect storage solution, I was on the hunt for something that had sleeves. I liked the idea of being able to flip through and see my completed diamond paintings. I did a lot of research. I hadn't seen anyone ever share this in the diamond painting community before. I had to do a lot of digging. This was not on Amazon. It was actually, I was reading reviews of other portfolios with sleeves and just in passing one of those reviews, someone mentioned Baroque portfolios and I Googled that. Google hadn't otherwise turned up any <laughs> portfolios with sleeves that hadn't shown me broke at the time, but um, I was excited to, to see that and take a look at it. The size on this is 27 by 41 inches. Um, and it's, it's big. <laughs> it fits over like a 60 by 80 centimeter diamond painting in it. And it does come with these plastic sleeves. It comes with um, 20 of them included and you can also purchase refills uh, now this cost here's the thing this baroque portfolio the price point for this is 209 dollars us dollars and 99 cents and the refill pack a refill of 15 sleeves is 73 dollars and 99 cents us dollars so the price point is very high i really wanted to test it out though and see because i thought if this is going to let me do what i want it to do it's going to be completely worth it um there's a lot of things that i like about it like you're seeing now i am flipping through it to view it and um it is you know the diamond paintings are safely in the sleeves they're laying flat definitely pros here um and it's a nice quality portfolio. It's very, it feels just very top notch, luxurious. Um, and I've got around, is it 24 diamond paintings in here? I think, I think it's 24 diamond paintings in here um, of various sizes. I went for basically the biggest that I could fit in here <laughs> without, you know, the biggest, the, basically the biggest that I could fit in here, I tried to fit in here. Um, and, you know there's something to be said for it being flat that might be more storage and space efficient for you you probably guess that i'm about to talk about a lot of the downsides which it, it makes me very hesitant to recommend this to you especially given the price point this is designed to hold posters um like movie posters or or something like that which are significantly lighter in weight than diamond paintings are I found that just with there's there's only 20 or 24 diamond paintings in here and this weighs so much to the point that it is impractical and nearly impossible to move and that is with like I said around 24 diamond paintings in it it is unbelievably heavy um, the sleeves where they attach in the binder that you can see here like they they don't really want to stay in there and I think it's in large part because of the weight of the diamond paintings even though I'm trying to carefully flip the pages over um, and you know it doesn't fit 
my very largest diamond paintings. It it only fits up to a certain point. Um, and so it's not, a, even if it, if it was something that I was able to try to find a way to work with in my space, it still wouldn't actually display all of my diamond paintings um, if I wanted it to. And I, it's just, I, I struggle to ha even have a place to store this. It's basically flat on a shelf in my garage and weighs a million pounds when I want to try to to lift it out. I feel like I basically have to ask for help. I love the way that it looks. It looks gorgeous with these paintings in here. And you can you can use something like um, like glue dot squares. Sorry for the massive glare, you guys. Uh, glue dot squares to sort of mount it to the black paper that is inside the sleeve and give it that much more uh, sort of structure to it. Um, but even then it's still, it just, it weighs a lot. Um, and I just, I don't think it's realistic to fill this up. I, I feel like the circumstances where a kit like this are going to, or a storage solution like this is going to work would be if you have sort of a large dedicated space where you have a bed, you can slide this under and easily slide it out and then carefully flip through it. Um, I don't have that sort of setup. And so having to move this occasionally, having it like upright, um, even when I'm just moving it, I feel like that also is causing the shift in the things to, you know, sleeves to not stay attached in the binder area. I just, I love this portfolio, but I don't think that it works perfectly well for diamond paintings. Uh, so for me, the Baroque portfolio, especially for that price point, I just... I just don't know that I can in good conscience recommend it. I feel like you're going to spend a lot of money on something that while, yes, I'm flipping through it with you guys and we're able to look at a lot of these completed diamond paintings, it's just, I don't have a good, I don't have a good storage option for it, like a place to put it where I can actually then turn around and enjoy it. So for all intents and purposes, this is not letting me do what my goal otherwise would have been to use something like this, which is to be able to flip through and look at my diamond paintings. So um, this, however, okay, so that's this really, really incredibly large portfolio with sleeves. So I don't think that this is something I'm gonna continue using, but I have a smaller one here that I do think has a place and that I am gonna continue to use in a lot of ways. This is one I just got from Amazon. Uh, it's the Suez brand. And the cost on this one was $39. It's 18 by 24 inches. And um, it also does have sleeves. Um, and the way that they're attached, they're like built into the binding, feels a little bit more secure to me. And I, it's not too heavy, in large part because we're talking about much smaller diamond paintings. And so I I really actually love this. It's not painful, like actually physically painful for me to try to move around. It's still very space efficient and allows me to store small diamond paintings. Um, I don't remember why this one is empty, but <laughs> anyway, so um, I am a fan. I am a fan of this smaller, of this smaller portfolio. I think that this could be a really good option, especially, you know, particularly if you mostly work on smaller diamond paintings or if you just want a place to display your smaller diamond paintings. Um, and so this, I feel like the price point is good. <laughs> um, the practicality of using it is is there. And so I'm all about, you know, using a structured portfolio with plastic sleeves when we're talking about something that is much smaller. I do know of one other portfolio on the market that comes with sleeves in it, but I have not personally tried it. It's from Art Dot, and my understanding is it's really large. The reviews I've seen, though, I've seen a lot of people complaining about the pages coming out very similar to the Baroque portfolio. And also from what I saw when I looked at pictures on Amazon and stuff was that um, the a lot of the plastic sleeves are actually sort of pre-sectioned for certain sizes of diamond paintings. So it almost breaks down some of the sleeves into you know more sections. So, But I have to tell you, I have not tested or tried out that product myself. So you have to take what I'm saying with a huge grain of salt. Um, so anyway, like I said, I, I can say that this storage solution for my completed diamond paintings, I'm probably going to sort of keep in my rotation. Um, though I have to admit, I'm, I really like the idea of sort of everything really being organized by date and all in one place in the totes. I think this is still a really, a really good option. So I'll link to this portfolio. I'll link to, like I said, I'll link to everything I'm showing you guys today down in the description box. If anything is really, um, jumping out at you, but, um, yeah, this was storage option. <laughs> 
uh, number two. And I do have one more to show you that I think is going to be really good, especially for if you are just starting out and want something that's very, very cost effective. So I'm going to grab that next. What I have here was actually the very first sort of finished diamond painting storage option that I started out with, with diamond painting. Uh, it was, you know, after I'd completed a few kits and I thought I need some place to, <laughs> to put these once they're done and just putting them back in the box they came in doesn't seem terribly practical. So let me see what else is out there. And this, you know, at least at the time, and I think it still continues to be a popular option, um, is to get an unstructured artist portfolio. Um, and this is actually about the same size as that giant Baroque portfolio I was just sharing with you. Um, this is around, it's, it's from Amazon. It was, this size was 21 us dollars and, um, is 24 by 36 inches, which shakes out to 80 by 110 ish centimeters. This unstructured portfolio artist portfolio comes in a variety of sizes, so you can get smaller ones. I think this might be the biggest one that they offer. I mean, it's quite big, <laughs> 80 by 110 ish centimeters is large. And, um, and so what I did is I did add a little bit of structure to this. I got a large, um, and this is not the best, the best example, actually. I normally get um, a larger, like a presentation board or something like that. Basically a really uh, big, like structured piece of cardboard, or you could use like foam board or something like that to give this some structure to it so that it'll, you know, kind of maintain its flatness and shape. Um, and so I, I have a few diamond paintings in here, um, like this is the beautiful woman in gold. And I, there's a lot that I like about this and, and why I used it for a while when I was starting out. I like that it is very space efficient. I was just storing this under my bed. Um, I like that it kept everything laying flat and it is more space efficient than uh, the portfolios with sleeves because it's, it's not adding that extra volume at all um, top to bottom uh, i think it's one of the more cost effective options you can fit you know i think i fit 30 30 plus kits in these especially just sort flat under my bed where i would just slide it out or just pull it out enough that i could try to flip through and find the diamond painting i was looking for um and i, I like that it keeps everything flat like i said uh, there are some downsides to this one and reasons that I was looking to upgrade and see if there were some better options out there. One of the things that I noticed, particularly when this got full, is that when you would try to, to fit more diamond paintings in there, you can actually kind of see it on this one. Inevitably, the corners would kind of get crumpled and smushed, and sometimes that would cause problems with the diamonds. I didn't really love that these were really freely rubbing against each other, and I sometimes felt like diamonds would want to fall off. Um, it just felt like it was a little more haphazard to me. There wasn't quite as much protection involved, which then again, it's, you know, if it's staying under your bed and it's not moving, but like I said, a lot of times when I was looking for a specific kit, I'm like flipping through it and then pulling it out and hoping the diamonds don't come out when I'm pulling it out. Um, another downside is this is not something that I feel like is practical to store and move. Um, as far as like, you basically only, you, you can only store this in places where it can really be flat. If you tried to store this upright on its side, I feel like you would run into the diamond painting sort of collapsing and falling down and then you're you're losing the integrity um, of like you know the canvas the canvas is getting crumpled the diamonds are probably popping off and you know smushing and moving around um and so it it limits you in that sense if you're needing to keep this like laying flat horizontal like this um and it does get very heavy once you get a lot of diamond paintings in it i don't think it's nearly as bad as the the baroque portfolio that i showed you um it's not that bad, but it does get very, very heavy and impractical uh, to move and, you know, to organize. I was lightly organizing it by year, and there are probably some other ways you could try to find to organize organize it within this system. Um, but, you know, there are reasons why I really was looking for other options after, you know, a year or two of using, using these portfolios and just continuing to add to them. But like I said, I think this can be a really fantastic option when you're just starting out. Um, until you figure out like how into this craft you're going to be and how many diamond paintings you're going to complete. And the price point is really good. Like that 20 ish dollars, US dollars. Yeah, no, that's, that's great. But yeah, this, this will be linked below if this is something that you're interested in, whether it's this size or, you know, maybe one of the smaller size options.
I do want to briefly touch on, by the way, um, a few other options that I have heard of others trying or, you know, might work. Um, I have heard of some people using like uh, a wrapping paper container and you know, kind of wrapping their canvases and storing them in there, though I think I see that more usually with canvases that don't have diamonds on them yet. I'd be worried about, again, the canvas is kind of collapsing and losing their integrity. Same with using like, a, I've seen like blueprint holders and dividers. If they were stored on their side though, maybe that would work. Uh, I know some people will actually also just roll these back up and put them in the boxes they came in or even the boxes that they, they shipped in and sometimes roll up multiple completed canvases and tuck them in those boxes. So those are, you know, especially rolling them up and putting them in boxes, that's, you know, a zero additional cost way to look at it, but still provide some structure and extra protection for your diamond paintings. So um, those are absolutely possibilities as well, but, or even like poster tubes. I've seen those too. Um, anyway, I am, um, those are all possibilities as well, but in almost four years of diamond painting, like I said, I've tried out and been kind of on the search for the perfect sort of storage solution that meets all of the needs that I'm looking for. And I'm really, this is, this is the happiest I've been with an option so far. <laughs> um, I, I will see how I feel about it long term, but I, I'm really craving the organization that comes with something like this and sort of coming to terms with the fact that having something, a portfolio or something that I can easily flip through is not practical. I think I just have to be content with flipping through it on my phone for the time being. And if there's any canvases that I do want to take out and look at or show you guys or something like that, I know exactly how to go about finding them. I'm gonna slide this under the bed and put a label on the front that says what dates these kits are from and I can really easily cross check it with my logbook to know exactly you know, what kits, what, where the kit I'm looking for, which toad it's going to be in. And then from there, just look at these labels and it's easy. So I'll keep you guys posted over time though, to see if there's something about this method that I don't love, but hopefully this answers that incredibly frequently asked question, which I love questions. Please don't get me wrong. Um, I, I love being able to be helpful, but hopefully this answers that question of how do you store your completed diamond paintings? And I truly hope that I was able to give you some ideas and options that uh, maybe one of them will work really well for you and sort of fit the criteria of what you're looking for for storing your completed diamond paintings. So. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know, please, what you think down in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. Is there another sort of storage solution that you have tried and or used that you like? Please feel free to share because, you know, I'll always I'll always try something new if I feel like it's gonna if it's gonna work for me. Um, and I'm sure that there are ideas that others have thought of that I haven't yet. Uh, I will have, like I said, as many of these products as I can are linked below in the description box if you want to go and look for any of them yourself. I invite you to subscribe if you'd like to see lots of other diamond painting content from me. I try to do a lot of tutorials and how-tos like this, and I also do reviews of, you know, completed diamond paintings like you've seen in this video, as well as unboxings and uh, weekly whip and chats and whatnot. And I just, I love to have you part here, here as part of my community. Thanks so much for watching today, my friends. And I hope that you have a day and a week that's as amazing as you are. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.